Today I show you how to do a backtest like this one using a custom symbol in MetaTrader 5. Let's go. Okay, so in one of the last videos we already created a custom symbol and in this video I will show you how to use a custom symbol for a backtest. But first of all, why do I think it's important to use a custom symbol for your backtest? So with a custom symbol you just have the control over the data quality and as I also showed in one of my last videos, we can use the real spread from our broker and integrate it into a custom symbol. So therefore we get really close to live market conditions in our backtests. And this is really the basis of a good strategy development. Okay, so this is our MetaTrader 5 platform and here we are in the strategy tester. So let's go to the settings tab and we take a look at the symbol input. And by the way, in the last video, I showed all the settings of the strategy tester. So if you are interested, you can check it out. So let's click on a dropdown and here we can see all the symbols we can use for the backtest. So these are the symbols from our broker. But today, of course, we want to use the custom symbol folder. So here we can see all the symbols, all the custom symbols we can use for our backtest. And if you don't see any custom symbols, you have to make sure the custom symbol you want to use for the backtest is visible in the market watch window. So if it's not visible, you just make a right click, go to symbols, and here you also navigate to the custom symbol folder, click on Forex, and you double click on your custom symbol so that it shows up in the market watch window. Okay, so for this test, I will go with the British pound Canadian dollar and I will select this custom symbol for our back test. And in the next line, we can set our period we want to test. I just select the last 10 years of history data. And now before we start the test, we need to do one more important step. So let's click on the trade settings here, because before we run the test, we need to set the commission for our custom symbol. And for you, this probably looks like this. So here are the default um, settings from your broker. But because we use a custom symbol, we need to set a specific commission for this custom symbol. And the way I do it is to make a screenshot from the settings. So I don't have to remember everything. And I will put those onto my second screen. And now maybe I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, and now we click on the use custom settings on the top left corner. And here we can add the commission for our symbols. So first of all, we need to enter the directory to our custom symbol. So this would be custom backslash forex and backslash asterisk because we not only have a specific symbol in this folder, but multiple custom symbols. And for all the Forex custom symbols, we want to use, of course, the same commission. And now for the other settings, we just enter the same as the default settings from our broker. So we have made a screenshot and I will just enter the same settings as for the normal Forex symbols from our broker. And of course, this is different um, for each broker, but I'm at Darwin X and these are the commissions for a Forex symbol. So let me just enter the settings. Deal volume, entry, in and out deals, zero, 1000, commission, 2.5. And the mode is base currency and it's per volume. Okay, let me check. Instant by deal volume in our deals. Okay, so now we have the same um, commission for our custom symbol as for our standard um, Forex symbols from our broker. Okay, now we can click OK. Okay, so now we just need to set our inputs here. And of course the expert advisor we want to use for this test 
and then we can click on start. And now we get a backtest that is pretty close to the live market environment. And of course, this is our goal. And to see if we set the commission correctly, we can go to the backtest tab, right click and create a HTML report. So let me just open this. Uh, here, of course, we see again the result of the backtest. And if we go down to the deals here, we can see the commission for each deal. Okay, so now we can create and develop create trading strategies because we got good um, backtest data, good quality data. We got a spread that is the same um, as our current broker spread from the live market. And we also have the correct commission. And this is really important to create um, create strategies so that the backtest is close to the live market conditions. Okay, if you have any questions about automated trading, uh, just write a comment. In one of the next videos, I will also show you how to use the optimization feature of the strategy tester. So you can test different um, inputs. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.